Hey guys, this is homework five. It says in class practice, but we actually are gonna practice. Uh, um, we did this as in class practice and we're kind of using our notes and uh, what we did last time to answer these questions. So homework five, make sure you write your name on this somewhere. There's no place to write your name. So that's gonna be a big deal. Sometimes if there's no place to write a name, kids forget to put their name on the paper. Okay, recall from dilation, a, recall from 7-1 dilation, a dilation with the center of dilation at the origin map triangle ABC to A prime, B prime, C prime. So this is the pre-image and this is the image. If A, B, so using an example, if we have a triangle, from a point A, B, C, right? A, if A, B is three and A prime, B prime is six, then if you think about it, this went from the point of dilation, this distance doubled. So this distance doubled. So this would be A prime. This distance would double. So that distance, that would be B prime. And then this distance C from P to C would double. And notice these lines of projection would extend through both the original coordinate B and B prime. Um, and because I doubled the distance, I went from P, this triangle would be double the dimensions. So if this is three, this would be six. It says, what is the scale factor? So um, our formula says we can go by distance or you can do new length over old length. That's what it said in our notes. So using that, we can say new length, A prime, B prime is new length over old length is just regular old a b so six over three is two it's twice as big the scale factor we use the letter um i forgot oh i'll think of it okay so the scale factor i'm just going to write out the word scale factor all right, if B prime C prime is eight, so if B prime C prime is eight, then that tells us working backwards, this one must have been four. Can you do it with a formula? Yes. So again, if B prime C prime over um, B C is equal to the scale factor of two, and you can substitute B C as eight, and you can substitute, you don't know what BC is, so you could leave that as BC, or you could call that X. And you know that the scale factor is two. Notice you can cross multiply to solve here, two times BC, two times BC has to equal eight. So if you divide both sides by two, you see that's another way using algebra to get the scale. If the scale factor is two, that the length of BC must be four. Next one, AC is five. So in the original shape, if this is five, then the new length would be 10. Okay, same a formula would work as well. If the slope of AB is zero, so my picture doesn't show that, but let's say I turn the page here. So let's say my shape looked like that. What if my slope, if my X and Y axis were here and the slope was flat? So if the slope of AB is flat, then that would make the slope of A prime B prime flat. Okay. If the slope of A prime C prime is four thirds, so this doesn't match my picture, but again, I can tilt my paper. So imagine if that was the case. So if I tilt my paper, if I go up four over three, if that's the slope of A prime C prime, Notice that would make the same slope AC. So it's gonna be the same, four thirds. Okay. Now, 
reflect AB over the x-axis. So that's the first thing I got to do. So let's do that. So if I flip, this is my x-axis. If I flip this over here, then this will be here. This is one up, so it'll be one down, one up, one down, one, two, three, four, five up, so it'll be five down, one, two, three, four, five down. Now, when we reflect, that is rigid motion, meaning the shape should not change size. So notice the width of three and a height of four should be maintained when I flip it over. Label this new triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay, so that's done. Dilate A prime, B prime by a scale factor of two. So that's going to get bigger. So we see the dimensions are three and four. So my new dimensions are twice as big. So they're gonna be six and eight with the center of dilation at the origin. Okay, so using a straight edge or anything easy to draw on, you can draw from the origin to your points. One. So from the point, my origin to A prime, from my point to B prime, from my point to C prime. Okay. Then I want to double it. So the distance I go must be doubled. So let's look at what my distance was. To get from P to C, I went over five down one. So I want to do that again. Over five down one, that's my point for C prime, double prime. Now let's see, how far did I go to get from P to B prime? over two, down one. So doing that again, over two, down one, that's gonna be my B double prime. Last to get from P to A prime. I went over two, down five. So to do that again, over two, down five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this will be my A double prime, B double prime, and C double prime. And if I did everything correctly, um, this should be twice as big. So let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, twice as big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, twice as big. Can you use the table instead of what I've done here? Yes, but you don't have to. This is another way to do it. So it's a way to keep track. Um, so A prime, B prime, C prime. Um, so P to A was horizontally two down five. And so from the point of origin, since K, oh, that's the letter I couldn't remember. K is two. So two times two is four. So that's why we went over four. And two times negative five is negative 10. And that's why to get to A double prime, we went over four down 10. Um, B prime was over two down one. So two times two is four. Two times negative one is negative two. That's why B double prime is at the coordinate four, negative two. C prime was at five, negative one. Five times two is 10, negative one. Two times negative one is negative two. That's why C double prime is at 10, negative two. 10, negative two. We must then add to the coordinate of our center point. We got lucky here, our center point is the origin. So when you add these numbers to the coordinate zero, zero, you still just get the same coordinate. So four plus zero is four, negative 10 plus zero is negative 10. Um, so uh, our, our final coordinates are the same. 
10 plus zero, still the same. None of these coordinates change. These coordinates match the coordinate of my picture. Check out the next video for the rest of the worksheet.